So Professor Slade has recently fixed this problem. It is now actually converting kilograms to pounds correctly. Uh, so I wanted to make a quick update video, show, you know, uh, discussing the approach to this problem because it's very slightly different from the last problem. Again, I'm not going to write code up here for you, but I'm going to kind of play around in the terminal and we'll see if we can get from uh, one of the one of these inputs to this correct output. So as I said in the other video, we're looking at the input as a number and the output as a list with a number, a symbol, a number, and a symbol. Remember that both of these numbers, I guess I should say, are integers, an integer, uh, an integer, and another integer. Okay, and then of course these things represent, the integers represent uh, the number of pounds and the number of ounces for this number of kilograms. So, I mean, this one looks pretty easy here, so let's see if we can get to 220 pounds and zero ounces from 100 kilograms. Well, the first thing I can think to do is take 100 and multiply it by 2.2 because there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram. That gets us 220 with a bunch of zeros following it. If you watched the last video, uh, you'll remember inexact to exact can help us deal with something like this, and floor can also help us deal with something like that. We floor 220.03, we get 220.0 if we do inexact to exact 220.03, or I guess 0. .0. That'll give us 220, might even work on 220.03, 220.003. Oh no, that, that's a total mess. So make sure you floor first. Right. So floor, and then inexact to exact, will give us this 220. But how do we get this remainder here? So if we have something like, let's take this example. We have 9, we want to get to 19 pounds and 12 ounces. If we take 9, we multiply it. Remember, multiply goes first. 9, 2.2, we get 19.8. So we can do the same thing. We can floor and inexact to exact this to get 19. How do you get this 12 ounces? Okay, well I have an idea. What about this? We can get 19.8 from this pretty easily. And I told you that using inexact to exact of the floor of times 9, 2.2, this will give us 19. So what if we subtracted these two? That would give us 0.8 right? So then if we do 0.8 times uh, 16 ounces in a pound, then we get 12.8 ounces. When we round down using 4 in exact, in exact, we'll get 12. So this will end up being a pretty hefty line, right? To get this 19, we have to multiply 9 by 2.2 .2 and then run inexact and floor, inexact to exact and floor on it. Pounds we can just write as a symbol, ounces we can just write as a symbol. To get this 12, we're going to have to take the 19.8, get 19 by itself, subtract those two, and multiply that uh, by 16 ounces per pound. Pretty hefty, pretty hefty line, but just a little bit of computation. The important thing to remember is that uh, when you want to perform a function after in, in kind of chronological order, that it comes kind of first in reading order, right? So here I'm performing inexact to exact last, floor second to last, and this multiplication first, right? So if I want to subtract you know, this number and this number, my first thing is going to be subtract. And then within that, I'm going to somehow get my 19.8 here and my 19 here, right? How do I get my 19.8? Well, that's, you know, I take my mass times mass, et cetera, right? So then you just fill out how to get these things, and this will give you your 0.8. And then if I want to multiply that 0.8 by something, I'll fill this back in, 19.8. If I want to fill out, if I want to multiply the result of this by 16 ounces in a pound, then that multiply is going to go here, even further out. And if I want to floor that, that floor is going to go here, even further out. And if I want to turn it into an exact, that's going to go even further out. Okay. 
I hope that has given you some idea of how to approach this fixed problem. If you have questions, post them on Piazza, email the help email, or come into office hours. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck.